Hello guys, welcome to Scene Through Wrist. I'm your host. In today's video, I want to show you the first watch from my own personal collection and with this video I am starting a new series called My Watch Collection where I will be showing you watches that I own, the watch collections that I had in mind and I wanted to try out and stack each watch next to each other and see how they work out in the overall watch collection. So today I am showing you my first watch that started this watch collection and I think this is a fundament for every proper watch collection regardless whether we are talking about Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet and other brands like Rolex Omega, this watch that is inside the travel case is a very important watch in the whole industry so it's good to have one. Let's open it up. Speedmaster Moonwatch. This is the redesigned version of the Moonwatch as the previous model. Omega they updated the model to up their game and make these watches look more original to the original Speedmaster Moonwatch however I prefer this old reference with this old bracelet and the old dial simply because there is more heft and also it feels it feels just more sturdy this is why I chose this watch and this is the fundament for every single watch that I buy as a next piece to add to this current collection I've done a watch review on this already so link will be in the description below as always, we are talking about a 42 mm case, classic legendary chronograph moon watch. When we talk about chronograph watches, people think that each and every chronograph has to be big. And despite this watch having a 42 mm case, I don't think it's too big. It's not really too much. So I think that this watch would fit most of the wrists. Even my girlfriend was wearing this Speedmaster for a weekend on a beautiful rubber strap. So I think this watch is sized nicely. It has a nice presence on the wrist and also the thing that is really beneficial is the case that isn't too thick. You have a lot of sharp edges there that's brushed finish then, then it goes straight to the polished finish and then you've got beautiful bezel with the black, black insert. So a very important thing to mention, really important thing to mention about this watch is uh, this is more like a classic car. Even though this watch is modern, it is a 2018 example with 5 year Omega warranty, this watch feels and basically is a classic car. The glass on it is not scratch resistant sapphire, it is domed plexiglass which is Omega's Hesselite glass which is basically plastic. There you go. It is plastic indeed. You have to be more careful when wearing the watch on your wrist as all the scratches will be more visible on plastic uh, Hesselite glass. It shouldn't discourage you from buying this beautiful timepiece. And of course here you've got bracelet, brushed finish, polished finish as well to the center links. And on the clasp you've got the classic lettering saying Omega with the logo Speedmaster Professional. It is a stunning watch. As this watch is certified as a moon watch, you have this iconic description, flight qualified by NASA for all space missions and all that. The first watch worn on the moon. So this is the original moon watch that is actually certified. This is a huge thing and every single Omega Speedmaster fan knows the heritage of this model and will really appreciate it. Buying into Speedmasters, even the redesigned brand new examples is like buying to a rich Omega history. That's why I love this watch so much. Really easy to read, it's a very simple chronograph watch but yet it's so amazing and great thing about Speedmasters and all the watch collectors will confirm that is that the ways that you can customize the watch with different strap is endless. You can buy hundreds of different straps, rubber, NATO, leather and whatnot. Everything is is possible with this watch. So let me just put it on my wrist. There you go, the beautiful clasp, just really shiny. This matte finish is so beautiful. I really love the watch. 
this is one of my favorite watches and when I was starting my journey with watches I was buying into Speedmasters and I had quite a few collectible ones that I shamefully sold like for example Tintin from the moon to Mars I was also planning to buy a project Alaska watch which was really cheap like a year ago but then they increased in value by 200% and they are not affordable anymore, which is my loss basically. Let's focus on what we have here. A beautiful chronograph watch. However, bear in mind this watch has a manual winding mechanism, meaning you have to wind the watch uh, almost every day. So basically when you wind it on Monday, you can wear it for the whole day and I would probably suggest giving a little wind on Tuesday morning just to not stop the movement and all the oils, all, all the parts are running, they are engaging, so let's keep it running. Even if you don't wear your watch every day, I suggest uh, winding the watch uh, every day or every few days because the worst thing, the worst thing that you can do to your precious watch is to not wear it. Even though your watch is collectible and you try to sell it to someone as unworn or barely ever worn, then you have problems because most of the times the watch will need a full service, which in Omega is probably from 400 to 650 pounds, something like that. So these are the prices. This watch is a perfect chronograph timepiece and it's really up to you how you push your collection from this starting point. You've got nice complication which is classic chronograph, it's a sporty racing complication, but the second watch could be very different. You could say you want something more simple with uh, very little complications or something flashy or something really weird. It's really up to you how you push your collection. In the next episode I will show you the next timepiece that will be a very classic and upcoming investment watch. Next week I'll show you something else but for now I'll enjoy the watch on my wrist. It's a very rainy Saturday so I'll just stay at home and just appreciate the watch. I'll take probably hundreds of different photos and post them on my Instagram so make sure you follow me on Instagram it's seen through wrist as well. I'm signing out. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe to seen through wrist and stay tuned for more. Bye. A while ago I've done an unboxing video on this watch so head over to my channel and have a look at the unboxing video because the box that comes with this watch is really special and all the accessories are amazing so please make sure you check that out.